Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a library book haul for you guys. I wasn't planning on doing a library book haul, but then I got a notification that I had like three books on hold waiting for me at the library. So I went to the library to pick those three up and there were significantly more than three books waiting for me. So I'm just gonna run through these. A lot of these are books that I like put on hold because I heard about them on like Book Riot. If you guys aren't aware, there's this podcast that Book Riot does called The New book podcast. That's not what it's called. I'll have a link to it down below. All the books. It's called All the Books. And they talk about new books and new releases in that podcast. So they're constantly talking about stuff that sounds good to me. So I end up putting those books on hold at my library. But because they're new releases, there's usually like a longer wait on some of them and things like that. So all of the books just came in at the exact same time because that's just how it always works. So the first book I have is Escape from Baghdad by Saad Z. Hussein. Probably gonna butcher a lot of these names. This is a book in translation. I believe it was originally published in Baghdad. I should probably check that to make sure. Originally published in Bangladesh in 2012 and then it was recently translated into English by this indie press. This book takes place when the United States is invading Baghdad and trying to overthrow Saddam Hussein, I believe. This book is supposed to be satirical. I've seen some of the reviews compare this to Catch-22, so I'm not completely sure how much I'm going to like this book because a lot of times satirical books just don't really hit for me. So I decided to just give it a try though because it does get really good reviews and I've been wanting to try more works in translation. So I picked it up from the library, you know, no harm, no foul. If I don't like it, I don't like it. The next book that I have is Let's Get Lost by Adi Al Said. Again, just butchering names. This is a young adult book. It's also a road trip book. I'm pretty sure I put this on my list sometime in the beginning of the summer because I saw this on a list of young adult road trip books and I love a good road trip book. Along similar lines there is Kissing in America by Margot Rabe. Rab? This book follows a 16 year old girl whose father has passed away a couple of years ago and so she just like throws herself into romance novels and then she ends up falling in love with this boy named Will and then Will moves across the country to California and so the girl and her best friend end up deciding to road trip across the country to California to go find Will or something along those lines. The next book is the book that I am probably the most excited about in this entire stack and that is Smaller and Smaller Circles by F.H. Batican. This is a mystery book that has been translated and is also being billed as the first Filipino mystery novel, like, ever, which is super crazy. But then the concept of this book is that you are following two Jesuit priests as they solve crimes. and. Honestly, why do you need any more description than that? <laughs> Next up, I have another work in translation, and that is French Concession by Zhao Bai. I don't even know why I'm trying. This was originally printed in Chinese or published in Chinese, and then it was recently translated into English. This is described as like a thriller noir mystery book. In this book, I believe you're following like this official and his wife and then the official ends up getting assassinated and then the wife later goes missing and I think it's just like this search to figure out who did it and what's going on with this family, I believe. I'm not completely sure. Again, this is one of those books that I heard about a really long time ago and then put it on hold. And the next book is a book that I actually didn't put on hold but I just heard about today and I figured since I was already going to the library I might as well pick it up and give it a try and that is Someone to Watch Over Me by... Mm, Rusa. Nope, we got that. I'm just not gonna even try. You can look in the description for the name. <laughs> this is an Icelandic mystery novel. In this, there is this young man with Down syndrome who is arrested of burning down his assisted living facility as well as killing a handful of people who were in that building at the time. And so you are following this lawyer slash detective as she tries to figure out if this guy actually did this. I first heard about this book because Amanda Nelson from Book Riot was talking about it on Twitter and she mentioned how she hadn't really read a book before where one of the main characters had Down Syndrome, which 
after she said that, I was like, you know, I don't think I have either. And so I decided to pick up this book just to see how this story handles that. And then the final two things I have to show you guys are two graphic novels. The first one is Alex and Ada, Volume 3. This is created by Jonathan Luna and Sarah Vaughn. I love Alex and Ada. The first two volumes are absolutely fantastic, and I've heard that the third volume is just as amazing. This is the conclusion to the series, and I've heard that this is just a really fantastic ending that will give you all the feels. So I'm very excited to see how this all ends. And the final one is Grayson Volume 1 by Tim Seeley, Tom King, Michael Janin, Stephen Maroney, and Jerome Cox. If you guys aren't aware of the DC Universe, Dick Grayson is one of the Robins who eventually became Nightwing. And his story, in terms of the comic books, I've never really been crazy about. I mean, I like Nightwing as a character, I think, the most, but I felt like they never really did his character justice. But I've heard really, really good things about this run of Grayson, which is like the most recent run happening with DC Comics. So I decided to pick up the bind up and to see what everyone's talking about. So yeah, that's everything. If you've read any of these books, feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys thought of them. Like I mentioned in my other library book hauls, with library books, I tend to not feel as bad DNFing them, so I can't guarantee that I'm going to read or review any of these books, but if you are really interested in any of the books, I will try to make that a higher priority. So yeah, that's all I have for now, and thanks for watching.